little bit, Patrick. I don't expect any wind damage for today. It won't be as strong as yesterday afternoon, but we're still going to see some gusts around 30 or 35 miles per hour. And even tomorrow going to be a breezy day for us. Looking at our Narragansett Beach camera, skies are dry here. Same case over the hurricane barrier camera in Providence. Our threat tracker today, tomorrow, uh, both in the green. Looking ahead to Wednesday, we do have some rain likely, mostly in the first half of the day. Skies will start to clear out late. So if you have morning travel, maybe seeing some impacts. But in the afternoon and evening, we'll see some improving conditions. And it still looks cool and dry for Thanksgiving. Out the door this morning, 30s. When I plan on dressing for wind chills, that will be dropping into the 20s at times. Feels like 29 in Providence, 25 the wind chill in Smithfield, and New Bedford feels like 28. Radar's quiet. Again, we've had a couple of flurries uh, from these lake effect snow bands. These will start to shift more northwestward, so going to see less of an impact here across Rhode Island. And even that, we've just seen a few flakes in the air, but it's due to that west-northwest wind coming off of uh, the relatively milder lake waters. Looking at the future cast, if you are hitting the roads early this week today, looking good, we are only going to see again a few flurries up across uh, northern New England. More of an issue up across Great Lakes region traveling through Syracuse. You'll see some lake effect snow today. Otherwise, tonight looking cold and dry and tomorrow morning warming up be well into the 50s. Beautiful day across New England for traveling and then looking into our Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. Here come those showers and again it's a cold front that will pick up some moisture and uh, lead to maybe half an inch to an inch of rainfall from first half of Wednesday. So it could be coming down moderately heavy at times. Blustery and cool for the morning commute this morning. 33 degrees. Afternoon temperatures lower 40s. Westerly Hope Valley near 40 degrees. Tiverton at about 40. Upper 30s to lower 40s, West Warwick and East Providence. And we'll be, uh, should be a couple of degrees warmer than 40 degrees for the afternoon high. Our temperatures this evening dropping into the 30s. Notice they really don't drop off beyond the middle 30s. We'll see temperatures actually climbing a few degrees into tomorrow morning. So we're going to see highs tomorrow. Nice significant jump in those temperatures up into the mid to upper 50s. And it comes under mostly sunny skies. Breezy, again, gusts over 20 miles per hour, but dry. First half of Wednesday, again, looking unsettled. So it's a rainy start, a drier finish. Showers linger at noon. I have us dry at 5 o'clock with clearing skies and temperatures around 45. Thanksgiving Thursday still looking great. We're looking at lots of sunshine in the morning. It'll be cool and dry. 8 o'clock temperature around 30 degrees. By 4 in the afternoon, we should be back down to around 42. Black Friday looking dry, 45 degrees, and just a passing light shower in the forecast for Saturday. Your full